Hello everyone and how's everyone keeping? I hope you're all keeping well. If you're new, my name is Julie. So since I am from Ireland and many people have given me really nice compliments about my accent and that they really think it's cool, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. So I got the idea, why not Julie do a video of some slang words that would be used in Ireland? So sit back, get a drink, get a cup of tea or something and enjoy because this is going to be a bit of a fun one. So guys, I actually have my Princess Leia Star Wars little book that I actually use for my YouTube notes. So I'm going to read off uh, the words that I have chosen and I'll bring them up on the screen as I'm um, explaining them and be a little bit of an educational lesson and I really hope he's like this. So the first word is we, which means small, tiny, very small, very tiny. But the way we use it is, for example, a wee cup of tea, a wee walk, a wee biscuit, which is strange because even if it's a really big cup of tea, it's still, would you like a wee cup of tea? Or if you go into a shop and you buy something, like the girl or the man will say, would you like a wee bag? You know, but even though it's not a wee bag, it might be a really large bag that you would use for like really big items, it's a wee bag. So basically we use we for pretty much everything. It's one of the most common used words in Ireland. And you know what guys, we just can't get out of the habit of saying it. And I know that it sounds ridiculous. <laughs> And it probably makes literally no sense, but to us it does. Like for example, if you were going for a walk, even if it's a two hour walk, it's a wee walk. Like, do you want to go for a wee walk? Would you like a wee cup of tea or a wee cup of coffee? And that's how we talk like all day long, at least I do anyways. But the thing about it is, which gets even a wee bit more complicated, see what I mean? A wee bit more complicated, as in a little bit more complicated. It's a habit, guys, and I've literally just proved it. Say for example, someone said to me, would you like a bit of cake? And I only wanted a very small amount of cake, I didn't want a big piece of cake. I would say, uh, yes please, but just a wee bit. Kind of contradicting yourself, guys. <laughs> Moving on to the next one, which is the word crack. That gets used a lot in Ireland. So for example, what's the crack, right? What's the crack, which means How's it going? How are you doing? How are you? You know, what's going on with you sort of thing. Um, but also you could use it in the sense of, say, last night was a great crack. That was a great crack, wasn't it? Down in the, the bar or whatever, or the pub, which is meaning oh, that was great fun last night, wasn't it? That was a really good night. That was a, that was a great crack last night, wasn't it? You know, that sort of thing. <laughs> the next one. Um, when you use all these words, like you don't think it's that weird. But now when I'm saying it out loud, it actually does sound really funny. I'm actually probably going to find this more humorous than anybody else. Next one is jammy. It's kind of funny because now that I'm saying all this out loud, I'm thinking there's a biscuit. I don't know if like you can get them in Scotland and England and things as well. But anyways, there's biscuits in Ireland called jammy dodgers, right? And it's like a round, like just plain biscuit. And in between there's jam and then there's a heart. And it's called, they're called jammy dodgers. Anyways, I, I'm getting off track, but it's nothing to do with jam. <laughs> this is going really well, this video. But it basically means, jammy means lucky. So for example, if something almost happened and then it didn't, but it kind of really should have, or it was very close to almost happening, you would say, gosh, that was jammy. That, that was jammy. Or something like that. Or like say, for example, you were late and you thought you were going to be really, really late, but you got there with just like a minute before you, you needed to be there or a second before you should have been there. You say, that was really jammy. I, I got my bus in time or something or whatever. That was so jammy. I, I made it or something like that. And as well, another thing we would say a lot is like dead jammy, which means like really jammy, dead jammy. That was that was dead jammy that you got the bus on time to make a dear interview or something, you know. But then this is where it gets a bit strange because you've got the next one, which is dead on. And dead on, it can be used in a good way and sort of like a bad way. So the good way that you could use it is, like for example, if someone said, okay, so I'll pick you up tonight and we'll go to the cinema at say six. 
And I, you'd say, yeah, that's okay, that's dead on. And they'd be like, yeah, are you sure that suits you that time? Yeah, honestly, that's dead on. As in, yes, that's that's okay, that's fine. Um, and then as well, you can use it in a bad sense as if like, if someone's saying things and you're just, I don't think so, whatever you think sort of thing, you would say, I dead on. So I, dead on is something we would say a lot to people, but we would sort of put I in front of it. I dead on. So for example, if somebody was saying something to me and I was just sort of thinking like, yeah, sure thing, or like, sure, whatever you think, and you don't really want to conversate any further, you just go to them, aye, dead on, but it's not like really a nice thing to say in a conversation. This is where it gets really, really ridiculously complicated because a person can be dead on. So a dead on person, it's a good thing. It means you're like a, like a good person. You're like, you're like, you're dead on. So I'll try and explain it. So for example, if someone said, okay, um, what's your friend? Uh, Mark like or something like that or David right and they'd say uh, oh he's dead on yeah that guy Mark's dead on meaning that you know he's he's he's, he's fine to talk to he's easy to talk to he's he, he seems like a good enough person like yeah he's dead on which brings me on to another word that is very similar to saying someone's dead on as a person which is the word sound now this can also mean two different things as well similar to dead on because if a person is signed, it means, you know, the same is pretty much dead. They're dead on. They're they're fine. They seem, they seem like a, a good person. They're easy to get on with. He's he's signed. You know, he's a nice enough person sort of thing. Also, it means signed as in, yeah, that's signed. So if someone said, are you sure you're still wanting to go to the cinema tomorrow night, even though we're going to be going about an hour later, I can't pick you up till then. You could just say, no, honestly, yeah, that's signed. That sound, that sound sort of thing. <laughs> the next one is yarn, which is a good talk, a good yarn. You know, I, I like to have a good yarn, for example, which means I talk a lot, you know, for example. It can mean that as well. But to have a yarn means a good talk, a good chat. But it can also mean, I suppose you would be saying it in a, in a negative way about someone, like if someone was really talkative like me for example and you were in a shop with them or something and they ran into like a friend or something that they knew and they haven't seen in a year and they're the type of person like me that could just talk and talk you would maybe say to like your friend or something like that for goodness sake she's probably going to stand there and yarn all night or she's going to be standing there in the shop yarning all night you know talking having a chat to her all night and the next one is banjaxed which basically means it's not working um, it needs to be fixed, that sort of thing. So for example, if something broke down in your car, you would say like, such and such in my car is banjaxed, uh, needs fixed, pretty much needs repaired, or the hinges of the door is completely like, not working. So the door is probably not gonna work too well and open and close, you just say, for goodness sake, this door's banja banjaxed. And that's something I say a lot as well as, for goodness sake, which is just like, oh, you know, like, for goodness sake, like you're really annoyed at something. I don't know, maybe everyone says that. Just can let me know in the comments. The next one is donkey's years, which is basically like a long time, like years, maybe like four, five, six, seven years or whatever. Uh, I would use it if, say, for example, a song came on and it was really nostalgic and I hadn't heard it for donkey's years. So, for example, if a song came on I hadn't heard for about six, seven years, I'd say, oh my goodness, I haven't actually heard that song in like, donkey's years you know because you're trying to think of how many years you haven't heard it for and you're thinking it's been that long i can't remember so it's been donkey's years guys the next one is plastered okay right there is two different meanings for this so the first one is drunk right so if you're really drunk that's what plastered means not like plastered as in your walls have been plastered <laughs> It's plastered as in drunk. So if you've seen a group of girls or a group of fellas, wherever a group of people coming out off, uh, and fellas, that's another thing. Like, does everyone use that, or is that like an Irish uh, thing as well? Fellas is a, a man or a boy or whatever. Like fellas, I don't know. You just can let me know below. <laughs> but basically, if they were coming out and they were really drunk and they were sort of like stumbling all over the pavement and everything, you would say, "Oh my goodness, look at her. She's really plastered." She's absolutely plastered. But then another way of using it, for example, is, do you know how like sometimes when you go into a shop, right? And if you try on like a specific cardigan and it's made of a specific material or something like that, and you can be left with like bits of fluff or like stuff all over you and you're absolutely like covered. 
and you're maybe sort of like brushing it off, well, that would be, because you're covered in it, you're plastered. So you'd say like, <laughs> but not drunk plastered. This is where it gets really complicated. So you're like, oh my goodness, I'm absolutely plastered. And yeah, if you're plastered in something, so yeah. So, or like as well, people would use it in the sense of say, they had animals, right, for example, and their house was covered in, you know, pet hairs or something like that. They'd say, oh, I like, I, like I think uh, she's, she's a lovely cat or a lovely dog and all the rest, but my carpet and my skirting boards or my sofa or whatever is absolutely plastered. They have it absolutely plastered, you know, like covered in hairs or whatever, you know. I hope I am making sense, guys. The next one is Buck Agent, which basically means Buck Agent is someone who is a real idiot, like a really like silly person or whatever, or like a crazy person, or someone was a bit like mad and a bit out there, or has did like silly wee things or whatever. You'd say, "I like you see your man or whatever uh, from down the street. He's he's an absolute Buck Agent. Ah, he's a Buck Agent, him, isn't he? You know, that's your way of sort of explaining like, yeah, the person's not really probably all there. They're not right in the head, like they're a bit nuts, sort of thing. <laughs> that is all of them and I actually find this more fun than probably all my viewers will find. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed doing this video and you can let me know in the comments below. Uh, please let me know if you like this video. I could easily do a part two, part three, part four. That I could just keep this going guys. I can think of so many that I could do. So please request it if you would like to see it. Just say more please Julie and not a problem. I come back on and do it. And as well, let me know, pick your favourite two or three or whatever and let me know what ones you thought were funny. Let me know what one was your least favourite. <laughs> and I don't blame you, it's like the wee one, the first one, it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. But we will never stop saying it because it is such a habit and I have been saying it all my life. And everyone I know says it, we all say it. By the way, last night I hit uh, over 1,000 subscribers. I didn't actually notice... I don't think until this morning. I didn't notice until this morning. And so many people on Twitter um, were helping me as well. So thank you so much to everybody. You have no idea how, how much you appreciate it. No idea, honestly. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. And to every single person that has been to subscribe to me, whether you're new or whether you've been subscribed for a short time or from the very beginning, I really don't really know what to say um, to feel like I have thanked you enough. But you have no idea I read all my comments on all my videos and I feel really bad sometimes if I haven't uh, sort of like uh, commented back to people. So uh, honestly, I really do read them all and I am beyond thankful and I am beyond grateful and I would never leave anybody out or not reply to anybody on purpose. I try to reply to everybody and please keep the comments coming because I love reading them. And some people are so kind and it's, it's amazing. I have really supportive subscribers. I really, really do. Like, yes, you get the odd nasty, silly person coming on, but it's, honestly, like, there's been people who have been subscribed to me from the very beginning, and they keep coming on and me, keep leaving me lovely comments, and I just find that mind blowing. I really, really do. I find that absolutely amazing. Thank you so, 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 so much. Honestly, genuinely, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to each and every single person. Even if you're not subscribed, you know, but I come up in your recommendations now and again, and you pop in. Thank you so much. Anything, even watching my video, you know, I mean, even to get one person to watch a video, you have to realise that that is an amazing thing. And the fact that over a thousand people are interested in what I have to say, wow, I really hope that I don't disappoint everybody and I will keep working really hard and let me know if there's any specific type of videos that you prefer the most from me and please leave it in the comments below. But aside that, I can't thank yous enough. Thanks a million, a million thank yous. And yeah, sending all my love to each and every single one of you. I will see you all in my next video and don't forget that the force will be with you always.